Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam Negi and I welcome you all to this channel. In this video, I will be talking with you about how we can customize the office installer. Now why you want to do that? It is because sometimes we do not need entire office package and installing unnecessary application actually going to slow your PC down. So it's better not to install them. How we can do that? For that, we require to create a configuration file. So in this video, I will show you how you can create that configuration file. So first of all, you require to visit this website, which is config.office.com slash deploy settings. I will also put this link in the description of this video. After that, you need to select your architecture. If you don't know, you can select 64 bit because now most of the systems are of 64 bit. Let's say you have a less RAM and your system is quite old, then you may require to select 32 bit. So I'm going to select this option. Now coming to Office Suite, from here we can select Office 365 and Office 2019. Now here we have furthermore option. Let's say you want to include Microsoft Visio. So you can choose this one as well. I don't want Visio project and additional product. So let's say you want it, so you can select these options from this list. Now we will go towards update channel section. And here we do not need to choose anything because everything is being selected. Then from here we can choose the required office application that I want to install. In my particular case, I don't use access, so I can keep it off. I also don't use Microsoft OneDrive desktop, so I can turn it off as well. Similarly, you can turn off publisher because most of us don't use it. Similar is the situation with Skype for business. I believe majority of us going to use these five application, which is Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote and Outlook. Now I can click on next. From here, you can choose your primary language. So you can choose any language from here. You can also add additional languages based on your requirement, but let it be as it is. So I'm not going to select anyone. Coming to the installation part here, I will be downloading the latest office by CDN. So whenever we have a local file, then we need to select this one and need to provide the path of setup.exe. Now let's say you have already installed Visio project and SharePoint manager into your PC. Then you need to be very careful because if you kept it on, it will going to uninstall Visio projects, SharePoint designer and info path. So if you want to keep it, make sure to turn it off. Now we need to click on next. And here uh, we can choose to automatically accept the terms and condition. Let's say you have your 25 character volume license key, then you can select this option. So the configuration tool also allow you to automatically enter your key. And in this way, you know, you even do not need to enter the key while installation. And then you can see here we have an option to automatically activate it. If you are not sure what to do, just select KMS client key. Now we're going to click on next. Then this is an optional detail. If you want to provide the organization name and other thing, then you can provide it here. And then I can click on next. Now just go down and click on finish. So in this way, we have created our XML file. Now we require to export it. We require to click on export button, select keep current setting and click OK. Now we require to accept the terms in the license agreement. If you want to read it, you can read it, then click export. So in this way, we can create our custom configuration file for office installation. And every time whenever you're going to uh, launch the setup, only the needed setup will get downloaded. Now our next step will be downloading the office setup.exe. For that, we need to download the office deployment tool. So let's search it in the internet. And in your case, you might not need to search it on internet because I will already provide you the link 
in the description of this video and you can simply download it from Microsoft website click on download and here we can see we have successfully downloaded it now what actually I will do uh, I will create a new folder and will keep this office deployment tool there and the XML that we have exported after we keep both file together all we need to do is we need to click on this and run it as administrator now we need to create a folder so let's say I would like to create folder in my common F drive so I can click on and F drive and here I can create a folder I can rename it to office and click OK now copy this file and we will be going to the same folder and here we will be deleting all these XML file because we have created our own and now I will be pasting it here let's rename it to configuration because I have already created one so it may create a problem if you open this file with wordpad or notepad then here you can see all the configuration that we have created after we have all our file ready we need to download the setup for that uh, you need to copy this path and now here we will be typing cmd and click on run as administrator now here the path that we have copied before I will be pasting the path by after writing cd and uh, this path copy paste so first of all we need to change the drive if you are using another drive if you are using c drive then you do not have to so in my case my drive is f so I will be writing f and then colon and now I am in the folder that I wanted to be in now here I need to write on the command and I will show you from where you can get it for your convenience I will also put that command in the description of this video here we can see and the command exists here but in our case the name of our configuration file is configuration.xml instead of download config I will be writing here configuration.xml now I need to hit enter now what we will see is office will start downloading the setup and here we can see the office folder is being created now this may take some time depend on your internet connection now here I can see 270 MB uh, of office data has been downloaded okay so uh, one may ask like how I come to know that entire office setup is being downloaded uh, for that actually you need to check your command prompt and when entire process of downloaded will finish you will see the command uh, will be executed completely now here we can see uh, we are out of process this means that we have successfully completed the download now the next step is to deploy or to install office let's go back to the same support page and here we can see the command to install the office let's copy this we require to change the name and hit enter now here we can see the installation process of office has been started and we only have selected few application that we talk about in starting we only going to install five application and we can also see the icon of these five application that we have selected in our configuration file now we can see the message of installation is finished 
I hope that you find this video helpful that how we can install the only office application that we required. In order to save your time, I will be providing each and every file in the description of this video. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, bye bye.